good morning dear children today we will take up another poem from your syllabus that is macavity the mystery cat it's a very beautiful poem written by t.s eliot and t.s eliot is an uh, he's a poet from england and chiefly he has been an essayist actually in all through his life but he has written some poems too thomas stern eliot he describes a mysterious cat of extremely villainous characterization in his poem macavity the mystery cat this cat is known by the name hidden paw as he is the criminal mastermind who disregards law so you can see children that this cat would always disregard the laws and he is an enigmatic figure to even the specialized detective agencies of the world like the Scotland Yard and the Flying Squad like these agencies they are like the way we have indian police similarly in england they have scotland yard okay so even the scotland yard police always found it very very difficult to understand the strategies of macavity the mystery cat and these agencies they had accepted their defeat by this clever cat and therefore he is considered as the bafflement of the scotland yard bafflement means they were always confused by the working style or and by you would say the criminal mind of this cat for when they reached the scene of crime the cat would never be there like you know she would commit a crime and she would disappear Macavity is too clever to be caught and is nowhere near at the crime spot. It was very, very smart. Okay, the poet says that Macavity disobeys all human laws and also the law of gravity. Now there is something like which is new, which has come up here, is that the the cat defies the law of gravity even. His levitation is so powerful that it causes a fakir. You know who is a fakir? A saint in India. to stare bewildered but when the crime spot is reached macavity is not there the poet says that we may search him in the basement or we may look up in the air but macavity is not there so it means that dear children this cat was so so smart that it will, it will commit a crime and it will disappear and all the police of scotland yard or the flying squad they'll keep looking for him and it was but you know all these strategies also never worked to help get this cat to be caught and uh, ts yes, the poet had described the cat as a ginger cat who is both very tall and very thin and this can be recognized even the cat can be recognized even from his eyes which were very deeply sunken and deeply sunken in other eyes like you know very hollow kind of eyes like you'll you'll be scared looking those kind of eyes so uh, you know this is enough for today and tomorrow we'll finish up this poem we'll see how this cat is caught or whether it is caught or not even we'll study it tomorrow thank you everyone